I'm Brian May in the state's emergency operations center at Cal OES headquarters. Today, day 10 of this center operating around the clock to provide assistance to survivors and help local communities as they begin the long road to recovery. Close to 8,400 firefighters are working on almost 1,000 engines, still battling fires that have thus far burned over 246,000 acres. Here's the latest on the two largest fires currently burning in California, the Camp Fire in Butte County. Now burning over 148,000 acres, containment continues to climb today at 55%. The Camp Fire, now the most destructive and deadliest wildfire in California history. It has destroyed over 12,200 structures, 71 fatalities, with many more still missing. And firefighters continue to make good progress on the Woolsey Fire, covering both Ventura and Los Angeles counties. The Woolsey Fire, just under 100,000 acres, but containment now up to 82%. For survivors of the campfire in Butte County, a disaster recovery center opened Friday. Over a thousand people taking advantage of the center on the first day. This center is operated jointly by Cal OES and FEMA, and it's a one-stop shop to help homeowners, renters, and business owners who sustained damage as a result of the campfire. So the Disaster Recovery Center is meant to be uh, efficient and accessible and provide people exactly what they need um, so they don't have to go to a bunch of different offices. Um, we understand that um, we need to really be flexible and help people and that's what we're here to do. Um, so the Disaster Recovery Center is meant to bring all those things together so it's a one-stop shop for um, resources that people have access to. The Disaster Recovery Center for Survivors of the Camp Fire is located in the former Sears store in the Chico Mall. That's 1982 East 20th Street in Chico. It's open 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily and it will be open on Thanksgiving Day. It's crucial that everyone who's been evacuated from their home has a clean, dry, warm place to stay. And to that end, the Glen County Fairgrounds has been added to the list of shelters for evacuees. This location has space for about 500 people. Overall, Friday night, there were close to 800 people sheltering in the 10 evacuation shelters. And those 10 shelters have a capacity for over 2,600. If you have any questions or unmet needs, Butte County has also set up a website for campfire survivors. You can go to paradiserecovers.org. And there are now two local assistance centers open in Ventura County for survivors of the Woolsey and Hill fires. One is located at the Malibu Courthouse in the Malibu Civic Center. It's open until 8 p.m. Saturday and will be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. And another local assistance center is now open at the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation in Agora. That's 30440 Agora Hills Road. It's also open until 8 p.m. Saturday and will be open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the County of Ventura also has a website for anyone affected by the Woolsey and Hill fires. That website is VenturaCountyRecovers.org. It's intended to guide residents through the recovery process regardless of the size of their loss. Again, that's VenturaCountyRecovers.org. And we continue to gather and post all of the information you need for any of the wildfires in California. We've put it all on wildfirerecovery.org. For all of us at Cal OES and all of our local, state, and federal partners working around the clock here at the State Operations Center, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.